Style and tone. Can you recall any friends or family members who have their best interest at heart, yet they sound and say things totally opposite to what they actually feel? And you often find them apologizing with, but I didn't mean that. Many workplace conflicts arise when something said did not match with what was actually meant. Hearing criticism, requests, feedback, or even routine daily instructions in a voice that communicates arrogance, disregard, disapproval, or consistent negativity can feel like an insult, even if the words themselves seem acceptable. The tone in human voice makes up almost 38% of our communication. And if we remove the tone, a great deal of meaning will be lost, and the message left will sound like a recorded robotic voice that doesn't mean anything. The tone of your voice is a combination of elements that determine whether your audience sees you as strong, confident, timid, cold, joyful, disinterested, annoyed, positive, or supportive. It's the tone that determines the emotional message you communicate along with the linguistic message. Now, what are these elements? Firstly, the volume of your voice determines how you relate to your audience. Speaking very softly might indicate that you are shy or nervous or lack confidence, while speaking too loudly could give the feeling of insensitivity or aggression. Your volume at the workplace should be audible enough to be heard clearly, so your words are understood without causing anyone to feel attacked. Then the voice pitch refers to the shrillness or depth in your voice. That is, if your voice is thin or thick. Our natural pitch can be compromised when we feel emotionally charged that can communicate insecurity, intense emotion, or lack of confidence. The variation in tone, also called inflection, is the emphasis you place in a word or sentence. Variation determines which out of the multiple meanings of a phrase you want the listener to get. A question is a simple sentence that has a louder variation at the end of it. Rate is how fast you speak. Our natural talking rate can get faster when we lose confidence or feel nervous or get upset. This can cause misunderstandings and escalate the overall feelings of tension in the surroundings. If the person leading a communication keeps their voice smooth and slow when tensions arise, it can have a powerful ripple effect on how those tensions get reduced. Knowing these elements and putting them to their best use can prove to be a game changer for you in avoiding conflicts and can turn you into a star communicator. Just like influencers, teachers, trainers and leaders. It will help you take control in communicating what you want and when you want to and that too to your advantage as well as others. Often the style in which we communicate and the tone are considered interchangeable. However, style gives your communication a kind of signature personality when coupled together with tone. The use of active or passive voice in your phrases, sentence length variety, and the overall flow of your speech is style, which can be slightly altered to match the intended purpose of your message. The style and tone are not just limited to verbal communication, but are equally applicable to written communication. The formality in tone is based on the kind of audience and their expectations from you as a communicator. So for formal audience, if you use casual style, you will lose their attention and interest for being seen as non-serious or lacking expertise. For more informal audience, a formally styled communication might be taken as arrogant or pompous. Neither type is better than the other, but choosing the right style can make a significant impact on how your message is received. We are often a part of workplace conversations or receive emails that sound inappropriate, blunt, or simply rude, despite giving all the right information or instructions. In business communication, diplomacy in communicating on controversial or friction-laden issues is the best strategy. Striking this balance of being assertive yet polite can shift the focus from offending your audience to building important professional relationships. Humor is another style you can use in tricky situations where direct communication about a person or issue can backfire. But humor is a fragile form of communication. What is funny to one person may be dull or even hurtful to someone else. 
So think carefully about how your audience will interpret it because trust is the foundation for all communication and careless humor can cause damage.